All right, this is gold and I'll analyze it uh, for position altitude and intraday. First, uh, let's uh, let me explain in a large time frame who people are waiting for uh, positional uh, trade. All right, so first you can see this is a daily and the daily it's running in uptrend. So let me show you in a weekly first and let me zoom a little more. And this is weekly chart, gold still running in uptrend. But here I can see we have seen some, uh, I can say candlestick pattern. So what is the candlestick pattern now here? We have seen here extremely uh, in this area, this is uh, called inverted hammer. They are forming somewhere here, right? We have seen this inverted hammer. And then next you can see they are forming a bearish tweezer pattern in this area. So when they are forming this type of pattern in a weekly, so it is probability to reverse from this area, all right? So who people are looking for buy, so I think it will be a little more risky because according to the uh, candlestick pattern, uh, they are forming bearish candlestick pattern, all right? Now let me show you in a daily chart how it should look like that. In a daily chart, now here we have seen this is a inside bar, so most of the people can say, uh, say that uh, this is a harmonic pattern in this area. But if you want to see according to the price action method, they are creating uh, lower low, lower high and here lower low. But still uh, this is the area of territory, uh, but here they are creating lower low and that they are trying to bounce from moving average 20. Because if you want to see previous market behavior, they are bouncing. Uh, from moving average 20 so we never know in which direction price will go but uh, in a large time frame they are forming some bearish candlestick pattern all right now let's uh, let me show you in a h postcard in a h postcard they are running also in a uptrend and here you can see this area called uh, temporarily this uh, price are consolidating right so now here I can see uh, who people are looking for buy in this area. So they must wait to break this 20 moving average. All right, somewhere here. This is 20 moving average. Let me let me tell you what is the exactly point. Uh, four five seven seven zero. All right, means uh, four <coughs> five seven seven zero we need a breakout so once they break this level so we can go for buy for few point around four seven five zero all right four seven five zero so that will be our next target all right now let me show you in a small time frame like uh, 15 minutes so in a 15 minute price are running in a downtrend all right so Let's see, let me show that area for our 20 moving average, then we comes to no. Yeah, exactly, we drawn as a resistance. Now, let's jump to 15 minutes. So, in 15 minutes, price is running in a downtrend. So, when we place this horizontal line using H4 chart, and we have seen 4, 5, 7, uh, almost 750 let's assume it all right so we need a breakup all right if price not able to break this level we are not looking for buy remember why uh, in a 15 minute price is running a downtrend and they, they are bouncing from moving average 200 have you seen it price hit 200 moving average bounce from this area hit 200 moving average and bounce from this area now here you can see exactly prices near 200 moving years means in a for the intraday that is a sell opportunity all right remember strictly place sl above 4 5 7 4 5 0 all right so in a h4 chart this line uh forming as a resistance by using 20 moving average so once they break so we are look we are uh, looking for buy because it is probability 
to continue toward upside all right now according the bounce back trading strategy we have seen that is a sell opportunity all right once you place your sell somewhere here uh, target will be somewhere near previous lower point and place your sl just below above this supporting a uh, sorry resistance line so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching